Welcome back to the program. Let's find out what's going on at the Blank Park Zoo. Yes, we know there are a couple of raindrops in the area and have been for the past couple of days, but no big deal. Plenty of things to do at the Blank Park Zoo and time to visit with one of our favorite people. Julia Bingham joined by a friend of ours. We've seen on the program a time or two. Uh, hi, Julia. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Great. Uh, tell everybody who you have with you because he's one of our faves. He is. He is my absolute favorite. This is Oscar, and he is a North American porcupine. So you'd find him through Canada, Alaska, and kind of the northern parts of Minnesota and Wisconsin. All right, so you wouldn't see an animal like this down around here, right? Unless he's at the zoo, no, right? Yeah, they don't get quite this far south. Yeah, really neat. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about the porcupines and some of the misconceptions people might have about them. So one of the biggest um, myths that there is about porcupines is that they can shoot their quills out of their body. And that is a myth that's not true. So their quills are just a modified hair. Um, and so we can see we have all this nice soft brown fur and then underneath we have those white quills. And those quills are attached to them just like their hair is. It takes a lot of pressure to pull those quills out of their body. Um, but they do shed and regrow them just like we do with our hair, but they cannot shoot them out of their body. Wow. Now, is, uh, do they make any noises at all for, for people that are curious about them? Sometimes. So there's two main noises that you're going to hear a porcupine make. The first one is called chattering, and that's when they grind their teeth together, and that's kind of a grumpy noise. So if they're irritated or they kind of want to tell you to go away, they'll grind their teeth like that. And then the other noise that they make that is one of Oscar's favorite noises to make is um, this really uh, high pitch whine. And that's usually a whine that babies will make for attention um, from their mothers. And Oscar, when he wants attention or he wants food, he will just sit and whine and whine and whine. <laughs> Has his own personality, doesn't he? He does. That is really neat. So uh, now the Oscar is one of the animals you take around with visits. Have those resumed yet or are you still doing virtual visits? We have started traveling again, which is super exciting. Virtual is still an option. Um, so we're kind of doing both right now, but we are back on the road traveling with our animals, which is super exciting. All right, so you want to find out how you can get a visit from the Blank Park Zoo, just go to their website. You can check that all out. But let's talk about some things that are going on, and we are in the last couple of weeks of one of the coolest things that the Blank Park Zoo has done in a long, long time. <laughs> Tell us about Wild Lights. So our wild lights event is going on until the end of May. Uh, and that is an evening event. We have beautiful lanterns all throughout the zoo. Um, some of them move, some of them are different animals, some of them are plants and things like that. And it's absolutely beautiful. I've been twice already. I'll probably go again before we're done. All right, let's talk a little bit about the little bit of rain that we have, a little bit of mist that's going on. Do wild lights continue yeah. with the little bit of mist that's happening? Yep, they, we are here rain or shine, so those tickets are available online. Um, and, you know, sometimes the rain just kind of adds a little bit more of an effect to it. That's true, yeah, and you know, all the <laughs> glistening of all the various yeah. illuminations. So how neat is that? You need to see this in person, folks, and you only have a couple of more weeks left until the end of May to see that. And let's not forget it, where people can circle on their calendar a very special day because Zoo Brew has returning, right? We're bringing it back June 2nd. All right, and people want to find out all about Zoo Brew, the adult-only entertainment with live music. There is a list of all the bands and all the different performing artists that will happen, so go check that out at blankparkzoo.com. Uh, Julia Bingham and Oscar, uh, it's so great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us here today, and both of you stay dry and enjoy the rest of the week.